What's up guys? Welcome to the Deluxe Chimp Yard Sale. Just kidding, welcome to my garage. Uh, the reason why I have all this stuff laid out on my Harley is I was challenged by Chopper Fett to the why I wear, what I wear when I ride challenge. Uh, so we're gonna go through what I wear when I ride. I think what you wear is just as individual as what you ride. Uh, for me, I'm one of those guys, I'm somewhere in the middle. I don't go full power ranger and well, you know, if that's cool with you, that's cool with you. Uh, it's just not my thing. Uh, and I also don't go, you know, jeans and t-shirts with no lid. Uh, and again, if that's your thing, that's fine by me. I don't judge. Uh, I like to have a little bit of protection when I'm out there. So uh, let's get into it. So we'll start with the top. I wear an Arai Signet Q helmet. Uh, it seems to work really well for my long oval head shape. Uh, this helmet's about to go out. I have the Arai Signet X replacement for it. Uh, I've always had really good luck with Arai's. And uh, people will ask me, why do you spend so much on a helmet? And I always say, well, you know, my head is worth the most, you know, out of all the parts on my body. I could live without an arm or a leg, but good whack on the head, it's lights out, game over. Um, there's one common misconception that if you spend a lot of money on a helmet, it's going to fit great, it's going to feel great. Call BS on that. Uh, anybody that tells you that, they're just, they're full of it. Uh, what you have to know is your head shape. That's the most important thing when you're choosing a helmet. It doesn't matter if you're wearing a showy, an awry, uh, AGV, uh, a bell helmet, it doesn't matter. If you don't choose the helmet for your head shape, you could spend all the money in the world and it's not gonna be a comfortable helmet for you. Uh, so take that into consideration when you're shopping for a helmet. Uh, go to a reputable helmet dealer. They will hook you up. They will get you set up with what you need. All right, moving down the line, my jacket. I'm a bigger guy, so not a lot of jackets fit me right. And I found, uh, I found Scorpion. Uh, I found them on Revzilla. I used to wear leather, but I changed over to mesh because leather was just too hot for me. Uh, it was actually causing like a heat rash on the back of my neck in the summertime. Uh, so I jumped to textile. And I know it doesn't protect as well as leather. Uh, there's a reason why racers, like race bike riders, don't wear mesh. Uh, because leather slides better. Uh, it's more abrasion resistant. Uh, but with this, this particular jacket, uh, it's uh, what they call rhino mesh. It's a little bit sturdier than uh, your typical mesh. Uh, the jacket itself has elbow protection and it has some back protection on it that you could change out to a higher CE rated back protector. Uh, and you have some shoulder protection. Uh, it flows air really, really well. And what I like the most about it, I have a zip out liner, a uh, weatherproof rain liner that uh, if it gets a little chilly out, I could throw that in there. Or if it starts to rain, I could stop and just slide the, uh, slide the zip in liner in and I'm good to go. Uh, next on my list, my gloves. Uh, they're also Scorpion. Uh, these are the Scorpion SGS Mark II. This is the second iteration of these gloves. I had the Mark 1s at one time and they were fantastic gloves. Uh, one of the big changes, Scorpion got away from using uh, Kevlar stitching on the gloves because it, a lot of guys found out that Kevlar stitching was stronger than the leather so it was basically cutting the leather apart and the gloves were falling apart. I myself never had that problem but uh, a lot of people did and uh, you know they, they kind of fell out of favor with a lot of riders. But, uh, in this iteration, I think uh, Scorpion really got it right. You know, they have knuckle protection uh, across the top of your hand, and they have finger protection. And one of the big things, you have uh, scaphoid protection on the palm of the hand, because when you go down, uh, you're gonna hit your hands, and you're gonna hit hard, and usually what'll happen, you'll break your scaphoid. And that's, that's something that, uh, you know, painful to come back from you know try uh try wiping your butt with uh you know broken scaphoid if <laughs> you know if that's the case so then uh from my gloves let's go down to my boots the boots are a red wing boot i've worn these boots oh for years now this is probably my third pair of this style of boot 
Uh, it's a Red Wing Irish Setter. Uh, and I want to say the sub name is the Farmington. And as you can see, I've, I've used and abused and worn these boots everywhere. Uh, they're my work boots. They're my riding boots. Uh, they are steel toe. Uh, for me, they're comfortable. Some people don't like them. No, they work for me because they have a wide, a wide toe box on them. And uh, they just they, they work well for me on the bike. And what I have, being those are so worn out, I have the brand new ones right here that I'll be replacing those with uh, fairly soon. Uh, so I'll be breaking these in and I'll be, I'll be using them at work and on the bike. So that's what I wear when I ride uh, and why I wear it. Uh, one thing you're not seeing, I, I wear the Greatest American Hero uh, superhero suit underneath all this gear uh, because I don't have Kevlar pants. I would show you the suit right now, but it's a little bit dirty because the dry cleaners have been closed for a couple weeks. I'll spare you the indignity. Anyhow, uh, again, that's what I wear when I ride. And uh, for this challenge, being I was challenged by Chopper Fett, I'm going to call out Joy on a bike. So Joy, let's see what you wear when you ride your motorcycle. This has been Deluxe Chimp. Be on the lookout for more content as it becomes available. And as always, ride safe.